Hey guys and welcome back to another video. My name is Safe and in this video I'm going to show you step by step how you can make an online form with Wooful, especially if you are not a fan of Google Forms. So let's get started. First you need to create your account from here. Here it shows you all the plans and it shows you the features that each plan includes so that you can make up your mind which one is the most suitable for you. However, for the sake of this tutorial, we are going to sign up for free here. Unfortunately, it's not accepting uh, signups from my own country, so I'm going to use a VPN and I will sign up then come back to you. Here we are again. In case you faced the same problem, I would suggest using Hux VPN proxy. It's Perfect for this purpose. So now let's add our email address, password, username. Okay, it, it doesn't accept any special characters, so you need to just insert letters and numbers. Now, the plan on using forms, let's say uh, contact forms or anything, let's just mark more than one and what do you do I may say anything now confirm and here we are so this is your dashboard here so in case you want to create your first form just go to create here and press on create form then you can choose whether you want to use a template or start from scratch I will just show you the templates and then we will start from scratch. If you clicked on user template, you will find here many templates and each template is written below it its function. So this is a termination checklist for example. Uh, this is personal trainer sign up form and so on and so forth. So you can find dozens of uh, forms here and you can choose what is most suitable for your purpose. You can also f uh, filter them based on this top bar. So you can choose whether you want invitation form, lead generation, online orders, registration, surveys, or tracking. So it's basically easy. You can also search from here if you want specific title. So now let's return to, uh, uh, to make our form from scratch. But before doing so, I will just uh, verify my email and come back to you. Now after verifying, here we are. So now let's create our form from scratch. Choose here, start from scratch. And here we are. So basically you have these three tabs here. Let's first go to form settings and adjust our settings in the form. Here we will just choose a form title. So let's say tutorial, description, this, form is a tutorial here you can also adjust your text you can adjust alignment you can adjust a description alignment language label placement you can also uh, allow tracking from here however however if you enabled google analytics tracking you need to be to subscribe because this store means that you need you need to use one of the subscribe so the subscription uh, plans not the free plan and here you can also adjust the text that is going to be shown to the user after he fills the form the form and submit it so here it will show him that it's this text which is great thanks for filling out my form you can also redirect the user after filling the form to a website but this also needs the premium subscription you can also um, limit form activity from here you can allow only one entry per ip so I will just leave it. So this is basically how you adjust the form settings. Now let's add some fields from here. So if you want to add, for example, a name, the username, of course, because most of the forms requires username. So we will just drag and drop name here and voila. So this is the first, um, the first, uh, the first element to be added. Now we need to add some of these. We can also add the address. You can add any one of these elements except the file upload and 
and this one which requires premium subscription. You can also um, add, for example, any contact information like email, like phone, like any of these. So uh, let's just keep it simple and leave it, leave it like this. Now, if you want uh, to uh, view your form, you can press on this and save changes. Here is how your form look like. If you are satisfied with this result, you can now move on to share the form. However, before sharing the form, I would like to show you something first. You can also adjust your own theme from themes here. You can adjust background, for example. You can um, can choose, for example, wallpaper. You can decide the color of the form. You can also decide the color of any of these elements, like the header, like the form itself. Let's make the header like this. So you can also add any custom pattern. So you can adjust to also your borders from here. For the form, you can add a border like this. You can make it dotted, dashed. You can make it double, for example. You can make it even uh, thick like this. So you can control your theme from here. And once you are done, Adjusting your own customized theme, you can save it from here. You can also name it, and let's say its name is Tutorial, so that you can use it later. Now let's go back to our forms and check our form, which we already saved. Here is your form. You can access on multiple options here, like View Form, Rename, Labels, Duplicate, and more. Here I will just click on it to make a small edit, then we can share it. So uh, here, if you want to edit on any of these fields, you can just click on it and go to field settings. And here you are. So you can now edit this field. Uh, you can also choose this. You can choose any field and you can edit it. You can edit the label. You can edit the type, format. You can also make it mandatory to be filled like this. And you will see a star appears here. So uh, the user is forced or must fill this uh, element you can also uh, show the field to everyone or admins only you can apply all these edits and once you are done you can save form yeah. and you can share it or you can uh, go back to form manager however we will share it here So this is the link. Let's copy it and try it ourselves. Let's go. And let, now let's fill the name. And let's leave the address because it's not mandatory. And let's submit. Here you can find the message that, that we filled before once the user finished submitting the form. Now let's go back to our forms and see what changed. Here you can see that the interest has changed from have changed from zero to one, which shows you that already one user has submitted your own form. So this is basically how easy you can create your online form for free with Wofo. This brings us to the end of our tutorial today. If you liked this video, press on like, then subscribe to our channel for more valuable tutorials. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next videos. Until then, take care and goodbye.